Here it is, the detox special. This is on the three day program appearing on days one and day three and it packs one hell of a punch. Here are the list of the ingredients and here they are on the board come to life. We have the superfood broccoli, the superfood raw beetroot, must be raw, do not juice cooked beetroot. You will never have a juice ever again in your life because it beyond sucks. Plus, we want to keep it live and that's the idea of juicing live raw juicing. Celery you're gonna need, avocado you're gonna need, apples you need the soluble fiber, pectin going in. We've got some carrot in there, the mineral rich king. We've also got cucumber, Natural diuretic, very good for the hair, the skin, the nails. We've got a little bit of bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, just to add a little something there. Not too much, it can be quite powerful. And of course, we've got some lemon with the rind on to give it that little lift. Now, I'm not gonna juice all of these ingredients in this particular quantity. I just wanted to have them on the board to show you, one, how much you need, but also a couple of little tips. Now, the recipe calls for about an inch of the stem. What's beautiful about that is that when you go to your local markets at the end of the day, they're usually selling broccoli quite cheap if the stem's really long and there's no floats. People don't want it. But as our juicers, we really want that stuff. So you can often get a bag really cheap. So that's the idea. So about... There you go, about an inch, three centimeters. If you want, of course, after three days, you steam that bad boy and you can eat it, but you will not be using your teeth for three days. So we've got the stem, but it's a powerhouse of nutrients. Just look what's in this alone. We've also got cucumber. Now we only need about an inch of that as well. We're gonna get about a quarter of a bell pepper, but it's about that much. You're gonna go for a whole carrot, but again, carrots can vary in sizes. I've gone for quite a large carrot here, so it's gonna make quite a lot of juice. You'll notice there are three whole apples in here. Why have I done that? First of all, most people embarking on a three-day juice program of this nature, it tends to be their first outing into juice fasting or juice feasting or rebooting or resetting. So therefore, we want it to taste nice. We don't want it to be too earthy. We don't want it just to be broccoli juice and celery juice. We've added in some sweetness, but don't be fearful of the sweetness. These are natural sugars and these aren't like white refined sugar. And tests have been shown that glycemic index, the level at which your blood sugar levels rise when you put certain sugars in, they are much lower with live apple juice than cooked apple juice. We've got soluble fiber pectin. People say there are no fiber whatsoever when it goes into juices, this is not true. Soluble fiber pectin, that's why I've added that in. We've also added a whole avocado. Now, I just wanna be clear on this with the whole avocado. They vary in size. So look, this is a medium to large avocado, I would say. So I would use really half of this, a generous half, but half. When it comes to a small avocado, you might wanna use whole. But again, if you're really hungry, you might go, sod that, Jason, I'm gonna use the biggest avocado I can find. Then we've got the beetroot. This lowers blood pressure, it's loaded with nitrates, widens the blood vessels. It is a powerhouse of nutrients, to say the least, but it makes everything go red. The whole juice will end up going red. So you only need a small amount, of beetroot, that's what I'm gonna put in, about that chunk there, but it's a powerhouse going in. So we can just discard the rest of that. Pretty much the rest we are just gonna juice. The avocado to one side, that little bad boy is gonna go in the blender. We're gonna use about half of that. Kick your juicer on, I'm using a slow juicer. So the idea behind this, of course, it's 65 revs per minute, which means it extracts as much of the juice. And that's the whole idea. You wanna get as much juice as you possibly can. Allow the apples to go in. Broccoli, lemon, celery. You can see that, I'm not pushing it down. It masticates, that's the, you gotta be careful how you say that. But it masticates, it's a slow juicer, that's what it does. Cucumber, I always add cucumber to virtually every single vegetable-based juice that I did. Technically it's a fruit, it has a seed. Anything with a seed is a fruit, technically. Um, however, it's more of a vegetable fruit. Really refreshing, natural diuretic, you gotta add it in. If you wanted to remove one of the apples and up the cucumber, then feel free to do that. You can still mess around with the recipe if you want to. Because a lot of people, I don't know what it is, but they, but they really are scared of fruit juice, and they, and they shouldn't be. There's no reason on earth to be scared of fruit juice. It's the refined sugars that you need to be wary of. There's the beetroot going in, the pepper going in. We're gonna finish off with the carrot, but look at the colors just coming out here. There's, there's no artificial colors, there's no artificial flavors, and you can just see, there's pure goodness. You need to understand it's only the juice contained within the fibers that ultimately feed you. And so those people that say you're losing a lot because you're not getting the fiber, 
you're getting soluble fiber, the pectin that I've already mentioned anyway, but the fiber would have come out of us anyway. I don't want to get too graphic, but you, you, yeah, you get it. Okay, good. So there's your juice. It makes quite a lot, but look at that. It's beautiful. I, I love the, the rich color the beetroot adds to it. It always turns everything red. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the finest food on planet Earth. I think avocados are nature's true superfood. Nothing really comes close. So what you want to do, now I've got a very generous half of a medium to large avocado. Again, if you wanted to, you can use a whole avocado, as the recipe suggests, but it's really meant for a small avocado. What you want to do is get the flesh, you want to scoop that out, and it's beautiful. I just absolutely adore. What I like about nature, those people that say, oh, I haven't got time to eat healthily because of the washing up, if only there was a little snack around. This is nature's bowl, you can just eat it out the bowl, but not during these three days. No, 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 no. You're not using your teeth for three days. Uh, put it into your blender. I'm using uh, a vessel type blender. These are very popular now. Uh, just to reiterate, this is a blender. It's not a juicer. Um, a lot of people thought that this was a uh, juice. It's not. We're going to add the, the juice on top. My general rule tends to be, I tend to only blend what I would eat in one sitting. So you see a lot of these recipes now for, for products like this, and what they do is they go, I'll oh, put three carrots in. I've seen them. They've put three whole carrots in, put two sticks of celery in there, go four apples in there. This isn't a blender. And then you end up with just like some thick mush, and there's too much insoluble fiber. There's just too much going in at once. So I like this nice combo. Now, here's the key. Depends on your blender, I appreciate. Depends on your juicer, but I don't want to negate the quality that I've just produced in such a fantastic juicer, a slow juicer cold press, by whizzing this up for five minutes and creating massive heat friction in this when I've done my level best to keep the heat friction down here. So when you've got a really good blender, like a super blend here or whatever the case is, you want to blend it for five or 10 seconds. I'm talking maximum is what you want to do. Depends on your blender. Like if you're using a fast juicer and a normal blend, then you've already applied some heat friction. It's still great juice. There's still nothing wrong with it. But if you've upped the game to gold medal juicing, then that's what I would suggest. Turn that on. Literally five seconds is all you need. And there you are. First of all, the color, and what I like, every time you add avocado, it just kind of makes it slightly milder, the color. It was a really rich red before, and now it's gone like a little pinky as well because of the avocado. Just gonna pour that out now. I've been doing this for 15 years, and every single time you make one of these, you just know that every single part of this is pure goodness going into your body. You can see the amount that it makes. Please use your intelligence. Every single fruit and veg, different size, different quantities, they yield different amounts of liquid. So when you're doing this, instead of writing and going, well, it made that much and actually I was too full and I couldn't drink it, or do I force it down? You never force juice down. You should literally just drink or eat, because it's like eating in a way, but in a glass, you should just, until you are full. Obviously, don't bloat yourself out. There's no need to. If you think, well, that's enough for two for me, well then just make it and split it and put it in the fridge later and that's just the way it is. Use your intelligence when it comes to doing this plan. So I'm just gonna have a little taste of this now. Who said health and taste couldn't go hand in hand? I think we've just proved them wrong. That is the detox special. That appears on day one and day three of the three day detox. But you know what, as a standalone recipe for you and the kids, happy days, cheers.